Hi, greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and this is video number eight in our Entrepreneur Series. If you haven't watched the other videos, you might want to think about going back and checking those out. But this video is going to be on financial analysis, and as I've mentioned before in the previous video, you kind of check up on the health of your organization by really being able to know what to look for in your financial statements. And I'm going to walk you through some of the essentials in what you need to know about financial analysis. So some of the things that we're going to talk about in this video on financial analysis are uh, pretty technical. Uh, we're going to talk about um, measuring performance, uh, being able to make sure that you have a solid financial foundation as an entrepreneur. We're going to look at uh, ratio analysis, be able to talk about uh, deviation analysis, uh, uh, sensitivity analysis, uh, short surveys to help make sure that your company is making the best decisions financially, and then talk about the importance of having a, a focus with measurements. Uh, in business, we saw we talk a lot about what gets measured gets improved, and so it really is important to have a clear understanding of how healthy your company is financially and know what to look for. And so we often use ratios and other uh, similar financial tools to be able to really look at are we making the best decisions or can we tweak things uh, in our strategy, change them just a little bit to get better results. And so uh, companies always should start with a solid mission and be able to make sure that their mission says who we are, how we go about it. And then make sure that in alignment with that, you have key measures that focus on that gaining that competitive edge that we talked about in a previous vi uh, video. You know, if your mission is to be the low cost provider of whatever product or service, then you've got to be able to control your expenses, and that really should be your focus. And then on a daily basis, you've got to be measuring your outputs. How close are we to meeting our, our measurements, our expected measurements? And so we use various metrics to be able to measure how successful we are financially. You know, you have to be able to really recognize where you are in making and turning a profit, especially when you're starting out. Because not having enough cash flow uh, could lead to the demise of your, your organization. And so you want to make sure that things are priced not too high, but enough. And that you're not spending too much, but just enough. And then you're bringing in enough revenues. And so you do things in a way where you've got a plan and then you're you're measuring things out and then you reevaluate your plan that makes sense right so you can do a ratio analysis a deviation analysis a sensitivity analysis and short surveys and so we're going to talk about each of these and of course i highly recommend that whenever i mention anything in a video that you do a little more research yourself to get a better picture uh, me talking about these topics uh, to you very quickly uh, my my goal is to expose you to the content, but it really is up to you to learn the lessons, roll your sleeves up, do a little more reading on, on each of the topics that I give you. So one thing that I'd like you to understand is ratio analysis. And it really uh, helps measure four different areas of your company's performance. It looks at liquidity, activity, leverage, and profitability. And these measures provide a picture about really how healthy your company is. So let's talk about liquidity ratio. So financial liquidity truly is critical for your, your company's success. And liquidity ratios measure the short-term ability of the firm to meet its obligations. So here's how you figure current liquidity. And you take current assets and you divide it by current liabilities. Then you get some decimal number. And then uh, you can do a quick or an acid test, which is current assets minus inventories divided by current liabilities. And so that's 
those are some uh, commonly used uh, liquidity ratios. So, um, in order to make this useful, you can compare uh, your uh, your ratios from 2017 or 2016 to 2017 to, to see are you improving. And so that's how you're generally doing. You can do it from a year-to-year -year basis or a month-to-month -month basis, however you do it. But most companies don't inventory every month, but some do. Risk management. Um, these are ratios that are used by almost all of the Fortune 500 companies. And you can use uh, risk management data, but it's kind of pricey. And uh, you have to be able to understand whether or not uh, it, it's helpful to you. Let's talk about activity ratios. Ratios that measure the efficiency uh, where you are handling your resources of your company. Uh, there really are three specific ratios. One is inventory turnover, one is account receivable turnover, and then total fixed asset turnover. An inventory turnover is pretty simple. It's the cost of goods sold divided by inventory accounts receivable turnover is credit sales divided by accounts receivable and then total fixed asset turnover is net sales divided by fixed asset or total sales so inventory turnover is cost of goods sold divided by inventory account receivable turnover is credit sales divided by accounts receivable and then total fixed asset turnover is net sales fixed assets total assets so You've probably written that down and you'll have to look at that again, but these are very common ratios that are used. And so you could take a look at inventory data from last year to the next year, from year to year. Is it getting better? Is it, is it worse? Is there something that needs to be considered that you need to be able to adjust from, from year to year as you, you take a look at your, your strategy? So leverage ratios are used to examine a relative level of indebtedness of your company. And so high levels of debt are dangerous when the, when the economy turns. And the economy is always changing, right? So you can't, it's hard to plan for, but you have to look at trends. Uh, there really are three ratios of interest that you have to look at. Debt to equity, debt to assets, and then times interest earned. So debt to equity is total liabilities divided by total assets minus total liabilities. Debt to assets is total liabilities divided by total assets. And times interest earned is operating income divided by interest. So you can look those up, debt to equity, debt to assets, time interest earned. And so, again, those are ratios that you, you take a look at to, to allow you to see how well that you are doing from year to year or from period to period. Profitability ratios um, can help you examine the performance that your company is having and, and be able to uh, uh, understand your ability to make economic rents over and above its costs. You know, profitability really is the outcome of, of your business activities. And there are five different ratios. There's gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, return on assets or ROA, and then return on equity or ROE. And so uh, those are the profitability ratios, gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, return on assets or ROA, and return on equity. So gross profit margin is figured by uh, dividing gross profits by net sales. Operating profit margin is operating income divided by net sales. Net profit is net profit divided by net sales. Return on assets is net profit divided by assets. Return on equity is net profit divided by equity, which is total assets divided by total liabilities. So uh, look those terms up. Gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, return on assets, and return on equity. So um, just a few uh, really powerful tools. I mean, just like 
any type of business, uh, if you want to be successful, you need to know what to measure. And then what gets measured gets improved. And we can use uh, ratios as valuable tools to be able to help us understand the health of our business. And so you got to really have a good data collection system to be able to, to track uh, your numbers efficiently and effectively. Something called deviation analysis is a chart that you could create which will allow you to look at uh, various performance measures for from one time period to another. And it is it has two columns. You know, one showing actual change and the other uh, showing the percentage. And the deviation should be maintained for all important metrics. So things included in a deviation analysis, or analysis that you could look at from year to year or period to period are your current ratio, your inventory ratio, your gross profit margin, your net profit margin, uh, number of complaints, operating hours, um, number of employees, um, you know, ranking, and really being able to look at, you know, comparing from year to year, you, this can be a tool to help you see are you headed in the right direction. Sensitivity analysis is a chart using current cash flow statements, income statement, or balance sheet to create a pro forma projection based on dramatic increases in sales or dramatic decrease in sales or the complication of a major change in your business. And in that, you look at your total receipts, um, total disbursements, beginning balance, equity investment, net cash flow, and ending balance. So that allows you to another tool to be able to, to see how you're doing. Do you have an increase in sales? How is that affecting your, your numbers? Cash flow is, is a big one that um, should be considered with your each of your receipts and your disbursements. Um, you know, uh, looking at cash flow, uh, is it increasing from year to year or decreasing uh, year to year? Uh, surveys are something that I think every organization should do, and every relationship you should do too. By the way, is uh, you really need to have a clear picture of how are you perceived you know and short surveys can really give you a clearer picture of who you are and how you're perceived by uh, your customers and your employees for that say, sake and you have to consider the fact that um, there will always be biases you can't please everybody all the time but generally speaking uh, if you're using surveys it could really help you uh, change your your mission and strategy you know you can do you know a ranking scale about how do you rate our prices you know better than most same higher than most uh, quality of product better than most same higher than most uh, service better than most the same higher than most um, so uh, whatever survey data you use it really will help you be able to make the right adjustments uh, you know what gets measured gets improved but if you're not doing things to really take a look at the financial health and your strategy um, you can't you may get caught in the dust and your competition uh, maybe uh, may take you your market share and there may be a point of no return so anyway financial analysis is really important to consider I know I've given you a lot of uh, information to consider I uh, hope that you've enjoyed the video and you've taken something away with it and even more so of course I hope that you have a great day because only you get to choose how you feel about it I'm Dr. Paul Gerhardt